Hey everyone, I'm the runner from hell, meaning from Helsinki. I recently achieved my goal of running a sub three hour marathon. However, the next step is to push myself even further to get that sub 245 marathon time. I would automatically qualify for the Berlin Marathon 2025. Wow. And achieving my goal participating in the Berlin Marathon for three consecutive times. However, I'm unsure how much training and time I should invest for achieving that goal. Okay, that was a weird transition, but let me give you some background from where I started. In 2022, I started um, with my first marathon in Hamburg. I ran uh, sub 3.30 just by a couple of seconds. The next marathon was in Berlin in fall 2023, where I ran sub 2.55. So I aimed for a sub three and got an even better time. Yes, let's go. I made a 30 plus minute jump, actually. Um, which I learned is actually pre pretty significant. But I really would love to hear like, what kind of jumps have you done in the marathon? Um, because, you know, I'm not an experienced runner or I'm not a coach, but I think what I did, somebody else can do much more efficiently. It really gets harder the faster the time, the faster the times. And, uh, I, I don't feel like I want to invest like double the time of what I invested last year into the marathon. I just want to get more efficient in my training. So right now I'm doing quite a lot of doubles, double runs, uh, easy double runs, uh, no double sessions. I have basically two to three sessions a week um, and the rest of the day is just easy running and one rest day per week heading to the gym. Yeah, see you in the gym. I was about to get on a run and I felt this weird pain in my buttock and my, my lower back. So I immediately stopped. Now I'm doing some coil. <laughs> Days later. I basically just right now did is testing how running works, but on a treadmill and with five percent or like level five incline and uh, two minutes walk one minute uh, run um, it's a completely different way of stimulating the muscles like on the on the incline it doesn't feel in the hamstring at all and uh, it's really light also the stride shortens a lot if I run uphill I don't do up hill running at all so uh, the reason why my hammies hurt, or my right hammy head hurts, can't be from uh, from too much hill training or so. So I figured shorter stride, uh, incline, and um, um, and just walk, run could be a good way. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Got a little injury. Let's get better in 2024. Let's get more faster let's get stronger mm. for those of you who made similar jumps in a marathon going from 330 to sub 3 or from sub 3 to sub 245 especially i would really love to know how you did that please let me know in the comments and uh, like and subscribe and all the lovely things all the lovely things i have to think about our own phrase for like and subscribe but that's for the next time love you See you. Have a good run. <laughs>